What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see here, I'm holding my tonfa in my hand. Um, this video is not about tonfas or really anything related to tonfas per se. Um, this, move, this movie video is um, all about bone density as you can see by the title, which is probably part of the reason why you clicked on it. Um, so anyway, let's get right into it guys. So bone density, what is it? Why is it important and how can you get it? Um, <clears throat> Now, let me just start this by saying there's really only six places that you really, as a martial artist, I guess you could say, um, that we really uh, want to try to get as dense as possible and uh, as far as bones go. And that would be your forearms, your shins, and your knuckles. Now, what is bone density? Okay, so let me just say this. As an instructor, I'm going to try to explain this as simple as possible I guess you could say bone density is basically where you are making your bones as strong as they can possibly be or as hard as they can possibly be okay bones are already pretty strong to be honest with you the, they are already almost as strong as they can get okay but there are ways to make them even more uh, harder denser and stronger um, when you make your when you make your bones dense, what you're doing is basically causing little micro fractures in the in your bones, and then they heal back together, and then they callus over to where they won't break again, or it's harder to break them again in that particular area. It's not a big fracture; it's like little tiny micro fractures, it's like when you're lifting weights, your muscles get little micro tears in them, and then you build them back together with protein and make them stronger. That's literally all it is, okay? Why is it important? Well, you want bone density because you wanna be able to take impact on those particular areas that you're making dense. You want to be able to block or strike with those areas. Um, even though I train in Taekwondo, I also, I specialize in teaching self-defense and I teach them, I teach people how to throw elbows and knees and shin kicks and punches. Okay. So I, t so I tell them all the time, I say, do bone density drills such as, well, I'll get, I'll get to some of uh, the bone density drills. Um, but for your forearms, you really want to have them dense because in Taekwondo and I know in a lot of other martial arts, we train people to block with your forearms. Some people train to block with your wrist. We have not found that to be as successful. So we, so we tell them to block with their forearms. You can block, I'll get, I'll pick that up in a minute. You can block punches, you can block kicks, you can block knees, you can block elbows. There are so many different blocks you can do with your forearms. Now, with that being said, um, if you don't know how to do blocks correctly, um, learn how to do them before you do them, okay? So anyway, moving on. Um, with your shins, you use your shins to throw like leg strikes or kicks to the ribs, okay? Or even kicks to the head. So you want your shins to be able to take all the impact because even though ribs are generally kind of soft, they can still cause some damage. Legs, you see a lot of uh, when people throw leg, uh, leg kicks and stuff, they can check the kick, like in the Anderson Silva fight where he broke his, he broke his leg. Um, I think Corey Hill also broke his leg too. I think I got that name right. Let me know down below if I didn't. Um, he broke his leg because he was throwing a leg strike because his shins weren't conditioned enough or conditioned the right way to take the impact of the check and his leg snapped in half. And you want your knuckles um, to be conditioned enough because you want to be able to throw punches. And if you miss and hit them like in the top part of the head, right up in here, it can hurt a lot. So you don't you don't want to break your hand and then not be able to fight and defend yourself anymore. So how can you condition? Uh, let's start with the very simple basic ones, uh, the forearms and the shins. Now you can do density drills with partners, which is where you literally are just slamming your forearms into each other. Um, but if you don't have a partner, um, you can use this. What you do is you take it, you make a fist, you hold your forearm right here. Not very hard, go as hard as you can go. And then just go over your forearm. Go, I would say for about 
two minutes. Just taking, it doesn't have to be a tonic, but it can be a stick, um, a bat, even something as simple as a drumstick. And do the trick. I would say do it in the region from about here to about here. You don't want to go on the point of your elbow because that hurts a lot. With elbow strikes, you never hit with the point of your elbow. You always hit with actually, you hit with right here on the forearm, which is why you want to get this part of your forearm conditioned more, I would say, than really like up here and even down here, okay? Uh, and your shins are the same way. You just hold your foot out. If you're sitting down in a, in a couch, you can cross your legs over and just go over that one, two minutes. Hitting is about hitting to the point to where it hurts, but not to but not to where it's unbearable. If it, get, if it starts to get unbearable, you're hitting yourself too hard, um, and you will see bruising. Um, you can't see it, I don't think, but I have a little some bruises on my on my forearms already be, from doing that. Okay, and your knuckles. Um, knuckles are probably some of the hardest, most awkward to train, I guess you could say, in condition. Um, there is one way that's pretty simple, and it's just you go outside, no gloves on, and you just hit a bag, and um, that's one way to do it. Uh, another way is to literally go up to a wall, and unfortunately this is not a brick wall, just go up to a wall and just throw punches. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You gotta take impact to be able to deliver impact, okay? And uh, so that's basically the simplest ways to condition your knuckles, your forearms, and your shins to get bone density. Um, there are ways that, there's really no, there, I shouldn't say there are ways because there's really no, there's really no way to truly condition other parts of the body um, as far as for martial artists, like you can't condition uh, your jaw, you can't condition your head, uh, you can't condition, you can condition yourself to be able to take uh, blows to the ribs and uh, blows to the legs, but it'll still always hurt and feel the same. So anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope this video was helpful and uh, let me know down below if you have any questions and uh, yep, yeah, hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. Peace.